Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you how to create and burn ISO files with CD Burner XP. Hope this might be useful to you. Have fun! So first of all I want to tell you what an ISO file is. Imagine a CD or DVD ROM with its thousands of files and folders on it. Because of that native structure it is very hard to make a backup of it and or achieve it. So an ISO file is a backup of the whole CD or DVD ROM in just one single file. It is basically the physical CD or DVD converted into a digital software file. This makes things much easier when it comes to archiving or duplicating disks. Of course this works also the other way around. The ISO file can be burned on a physical disk as often as you want so that you will get the native format again. As long as there is no copy protection, these reproduced disks are one-to-one -one copies of the original disk. There's really no difference between the disk at the beginning, the ISO file and our burned copy. So first of all, we should download the program's DBurner XP and install it. Therefore, we have to visit the website www.cdburnerxp.se and hit the download button. I will put the link into the video description as well. Of course, we can save the file wherever we want it to be saved. In this video, I save it to the desktop. So now we can start the install process. I will skip that right here, but make sure you don't install further software during the install process. Here, for example, the installer asks you to install another software. Click on I do not accept if you're not interested in that. After that, the installation of CD Burner XP is completed. We can start the software right from the desktop. We will see a menu with different options. To create an ISO file, we have to select the option called Copy or Grab Disk. In the next window, we have to select our source disk drive for the ISO file. So we have to make sure that we select the right drive if we have more than one. Of course, we also have to put our disk into the selected drive by now. Now we have to choose our target path for the ISO file. Therefore we select the option hard disk doing a left click on the three dots and select a path and a file name for the ISO file. I will give it the name test. As you can see I save it right onto the desktop giving it the name test. Now we click onto the button copy disk and the ISO file will be created. This process can take some time so that I will skip that right here. The ISO file creation is completed and we can close CD Burner XP right here. As you can see our ISO file is placed onto the desktop with a file size of almost 600 megabytes. So that was the create an ISO file part, but how do we burn the ISO file back onto a disk? Well, let me tell you, that is very simple. We just have to open CD Burner XP again and choose the option Burn ISO Image. Now we have to select our test ISO file with the Browse button and start the burning process with the Burn Disk button. Again, this process may take some time, so that I will do a skip here. Well, that's it. We can close our program and our ISO file is successfully burned to disk. I hope that this little tutorial was useful to you. If you have any wishes for upcoming tutorials, just let me know that in the comments or on Facebook. Thank you.